Hello Geminis, welcome to your October 2015 tarot reading. I'm going to get all the cards shuffled out first before I start talking to make it less confusing. Just want to wish you all a happy Halloween, the end of this month as well, and please stay safe. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. If you're going to get that card at all, it's better to be reversed. Nine of Wands, Two of Wands, the Sun, the King of Wands, Three of Cups, the Star, Six of Pentacles, the Death card in the reverse position, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so let's go through this spread and see what's going on for you guys here. The first thing here is um, the star card in the middle of this spread. So this is an energy that you are going to have to channel through. And the star indicates to me hopes, aspirations, that light in the darkness of the night. When the moon is out and you only can look up and see the stars, the stars are what guides you towards, you know, on the road through to navigate through life. But it's also a situation where... You know what it is that you want. However, the path from where you are to, you know, your to where your dreams lie might be very dark. It's not well lit. You don't know how to exactly get there. So the star is a card of guidance. It's spiritual self-knowing, but it's also spiritual guidance to um, get you on the right path to elevate you in order for you to catch up to your dreams, okay? So that's a convoluted way of explaining this, but I do sense that what's happening here, if you look at both of these cards, you want something, you want, you're yearning for the next phase in your life, you're yearning for that opportunity potentially to travel, to elevate in social status, to elevate your financial situation, to possibly have a brand new start in your life. A lot of you feel very stuck and you don't want to play, stay where you currently are residing. So you're thinking and conjuring up ideas and dreams and, you know, possibly relocating to some exo exotic locale, you know, buying a new house like in the Mediterranean, for example. You're thinking up of a lot of these wonderful things that are going to move for you, uh, that are going to come into the picture for you if you weren't living where you're living. So I do feel this is kind of like, you know, greener, looking at greener pastures, um, wondering about life if you had been born somewhere else. This is a daydreaming type of situation. And a lot of you want to move physically, move out of where you're living. And it's in the reverse, which indicates to me that the ideas, the desire is definitely there. But when it comes to the logistical and the practical aspects that will allow you to do that, you're definitely going through the first two weeks of this month feeling very stifled, feeling as if you don't really know how to implement this plan in the real world. It's really hard for you to take that first step because you don't know where to go. So by the second half of this month, the energy is going to pick up where you're going to realize, okay, I'm being guided. I actually have outside help. The path or at least things are lit up for me so that I can achieve the move if I so desire. The um, new work situation, I can execute my ideas in the real world. Because now things are starting to, to become clear. So you, you're fed a lot of information that helps you refine and also like um, to realize what it is that, that is making the plans impractical or what's blocking you from implementing your plans in the real world, okay? So there's definitely a lot of clarity coming through. And it's going to come through the second half of this month and it's going to allow you a solid, realistic way to implement your plans in the real world. So I know that was a very long-winded explanation, but I do sense that is something coming through for you. So the star is also the wish card. Whatever it is, it's going to come about, and it's going to come about in a very 
through other people, through friends, through group associations, through your social networks. I don't feel it's going to come about as a result of work associates, but I do sense it coming through from family members, even especially from like help from the maternal side. And I also feel that it's going to come through friends and people that you are very emotionally bound to. Okay, so friends and, and associate. I don't sense work associate, but friends in a very social setting. So that's what's um, coming through for you. That, that's the first major energy that is going to permeate the rest of this month. Um, I'm also sensing here, this is something that we must address because we are starting with, you know, Ten of Swords in the reverse position. There has definitely, definitely been a betrayal in the past that you're still a little bit resentful about. This can, I feel like for a lot of you, it's something that happened this year. And I do feel that it might have happened like around April, May, around that time. For a lot of you, there was like an, a major thing that happened like in February, but you're over it. So I do feel that because this is in the reverse position, this is something a little bit more recent. So this is like April and May. And you're, you know, like, I feel like emotionally you're done healing. But I do sense whatever caused this, whoever caused this, is coming back in this month, or at least you're hearing about them. If there is a social function that you're attending, and you know, you, you're just like very, very happy about being there, you could potentially run into the person that caused it, okay? And it's triggering this anger, this resentment. Um, I do feel emotionally, you're over it. You're not going to get sucked back in, but you're just upset because you want them to suffer, basically you feel as if you want them to understand the pain that they caused so that you can extract an apology from them and then you can move on. However, I do feel that the guilt or what, whatever it is that you're hoping that, you know, the other person, whoever it was that hurt you, if you're hoping for them to come back in with an apology, I don't sense it's going to happen. And I don't feel that waiting for another person to apologize to you in order for you to heal and move on is a good strategy. You have to forgive and release in order for you yourself to move on, okay? So don't hang on to the resentment. Even though it's like months ago, even though it was very painful, don't hold on to grudges, okay? This is a man who holds on to grudges. He's been hurt, and he's, he, wants to, he wants the other party to acknowledge how much they've hurt him. But you know, when people hurt us, I do feel that a lot of the times when they're low vibrational energies, they're not aware of it and they just don't care. When they're high functioning, high vibrational energy, they would have apologized. They would have been the decent person and apologized and explained themselves. So if you're waiting for months and months for that long belated apology and it never comes it's because the other person is not yet ready to see the pain and the anguish and the the wrongfulness of their actions so you're waiting you're you're wait you're the only one waiting in this this picture so you really want to release and let it go so that you can move on okay because what's on the other side of the coin for you is a lot of success, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, contentment as well. A lot of hopefulness as well. So your future is definitely brightening up. So it's just a matter of perspective, you know. The past is there. I know sometimes that, you know, it, it jabs at us. But we really have to rise above it. And we shouldn't let past disappointments make us very, you know, disillusioned, make us feel very jaded, where we can't trust people that are trying to come into our lives in the future. So don't let your past affect the way you handle situations in the future. Think of them as learning lessons, but don't let that sense of bitterness, resentment, affect new relationships that have a very, very fruitful outcome for you, okay? A lot of you too, I feel like it might be on a work situation where you were promised, you know, a very good, sweet, lucrative deal. 
a good salary, a, a very promising job with a corner office. You know, everything was very like peachy, and you were promised this, and then somehow the offer was rescinded. It could have happened during like a Mercury and retrograde period. You know, the second half of September. And you hyped it up, and you told everyone, you know, I got this job, and it's amazing. And then there, you find out first the offer might have been rescinded, or they're taking really long in order to get back to you and finalize all the paperwork. So you're waiting, waiting, waiting. And then I do feel that the second half of this month is when you're going to have to re rework, go back to something from the past in order to get it sorted out. Okay. I do feel there might be some monetary payment as a result of it. So, for example, for those of you who have been through like a divorce, for example, and I'm sensing this more for like, you know, fathers. If you've been through a divorce, if you've been through a very, very crazy, you know, relationship and it ended and they're taking you to court and you're paying for child support. I do feel child support coming through, and that's why I say, like, this is more for fathers. I do feel, you know, with the sun, six of pentacles reverse, ace of pentacles reverse, there is definitely money being paid out to for the betterment of the children, but it's definitely going to drain you a little bit um, financially. So, Geminis, just for this month, be very, very careful when it comes to spending, when it comes to how much you... You know, try to manage and live within your means because I do feel there is a big celebration coming through as a result of a job situation coming full circle. So there is going to be a job offer. However, you know, you, you might be promised that really big salary, but you haven't even started the job yet. And you're doing this massive celebratory, you know, get together, which makes you feel really good. And it, it's letting you move on and it's letting you forget the past which is fine but I do feel there is a, a bit of a financial dip by the end of this month so you might want to be careful if you are thinking about that big trip that you must take and then you know the the opportunity of the lifetime comes through where you get a job that will allow you to travel or you get like um, you get to that point where your friends are like oh let's take that big trip together and then you all buy your tickets and for example you know, the ticket is a lot more than you expected, so there might not be enough disposable income left over to handle the logistical, everyday aspect of that trip. So either way, be careful when it comes to spending. Be careful when it comes to, like, unanticipated um, expenditures. This indicates to me a financial windfall, and this is somebody offering you help it's definitely coming through, but I do sense a, a great deal of delay. If you are in a position where you know who it is that can make your life easier, don't hesitate to come to them and ask them for help, okay? And I, I mean like in every capacity because I do feel that you're feeling quite good and you might overextend yourself, your time, your resources, and you might realize that by the end of the month you're a little bit short. So, so that's the, the first thing. If you are in a celebratory mood, I do feel that it's it will be good for you, actually, to um, take some time off and focus on you. Because I do feel that the month is very, very other-focused, and it seems to me like it's very busy. You're either thinking about somebody from your past, or you're trying to, you're trying to drown out problems from the past by being constantly being around other people okay so that's the first thing if that is the case take some time off in order to focus on you in order to do the activities that bring you more inner peace spend some time with yourself doing some meditation doing the things that you love taking a walk around the park for example go to the the lake you know feed the ducks i, I don't know what it is that you do to decompress but i do sense that you need some alone time um, the month is filled with a lot of people, either thoughts of them or a lot of people in your physical environment. It seems a little bit busy. There's a lot of people demanding your attention. So I do sense you need to take some time off for yourself in order for you to work through some initial plans that you laid down that never got off the ground. Okay, so the energy is very good for that. For those of you who are in relationships with a... Um, 
fire sign. If it is a stable relationship, I do sense that there might be... What I'm getting is um, the other person might not have... And, and fire signs are... Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, the other person might be a little bit unavailable. So, for example, they're working a lot, okay? They're working a lot, and you don't see each other on a regular basis. You contact them, and they're, like, incommunicado. And you're kind of thinking to yourself, okay, well, if they're off the, with their friends, I'm going to go off with my friends, and then, you know, I just won't have to call them. So it's kind of like escapism. There's a sense of escapism with this month. Rather than tackling problems head on, rather than sitting with yourself and facing what it is that you are afraid of, you know, rather than dealing with these deep-rooted, important issues, I do feel a sense of distraction about you, Geminis, that I, I feel like you really need a moment to yourself in order to sort through your feelings, in order to process events that have transpired in the past, in order to anticipate what's going to come through, in order for you to solidify a very, very important, important life plan, in order for you to solidify something that is going to be major in your life for the next two years. So you need to sit by yourself on this one and figure out what it is that you want to do. And I do feel for a lot of you, you've applied for a job. And you know, like I said, the, the work situation, the job that was offered in the past might have been, the offer might have been rescinded and now you're applying for another job. And you're going to find out by the end of this month whether or not it comes through. And I do feel it is going to come through for you. However... Salary negotiation is definitely something coming through by the 27th to the 31st of this month, okay? Aside from that, I do feel once again, um, situations regarding children, I do sense that, um, you know, your, your, your child is like your pride and joy, but for some reason, for, for those of you who are elderly and you have like grown children, you might... You might need them. I feel like you might want them to be around for due to health issues or due to some type of celebratory, you know, family reunion and things like that. And um, you realize that they're caught up with work and they're not there and you're kind of uh, um, disappointed. But I do feel that when people tell you, you know, it, it is on the heels of the eclipse, okay? So you want to be a little bit careful about this month, mainly because I feel like you feel you might be snubbed, and then, but I, I don't feel there other people are doing it on purpose. I feel like they're really caught up with their own lives. There's a lot of transitions happening for all signs across the board, and I do feel it's because we're dealing with, we're, we're operating on the heels of the eclipse. So people are like caught up with, you know, their own financial situation. They're occupied at work. They're overtaxed, overextended. And as a result of it, they might not respond to you in that way. But rest assured, they're still in your presence. And rest assured, this is definitely a month in which you have to withdraw and work on some plans for yourself. So don't distract yourself with other people's you know things don't distract yourself by going out and and immersing yourself with like superficial you know like um social gatherings even though those are fun every once in a while i do sense it is a very very busy month actually that you're trying to escape from so gemini is just be be wary of that okay Aside from that, I do feel on the love front, there's definitely, definitely a fire sign coming through for you. And this is somebody that you're going to meet in a social setting. And I do feel there is a great deal of emotional rapport. This person is very fun, very dependable. I do feel as a king energy, they know, they've been through a lot in their lives and, and you know, their past experiences hasn't crippled them. And in the process of interacting with this fire sign or this kingly energy, you're going to realize that, wow, you know, my life is not that bad because this person has been through the ringer, but they're still here celebrating with me. They're very optimistic and they're not jaded as all, at all. Whereas I was hurt in the past and I was very, very jaded. 
And I'm still not completely 100% resentment free. So how do I get myself to the point where I don't focus on what happened in the past, I focus on the present. And I do feel by proxy of your association, your association with this fire sign, you're going to realize that you know you can achieve more emotional harmony. You can be more hopeful with your life because you feel as if this is a breath of fresh air. You know, this person who has been through a lot, um, this person shares the same type of life experiences that you do. And they're delivering advice from a perspective of somebody who, despite what life has dealt them, they're still very hopeful and optimistic and very childlike. And they still have faith in humanity and people. Okay? So it is a very soothing energy. There is definitely a healing a healing property about this person. They're in your life to heal. But I also feel healing can happen if you spend some time alone and if you meditate and if you just... Um, Figure out what it is that you want for the next two years. So don't focus on the past. Focus on the present moment and plan for the future, especially your financial situation. I do sense that for a lot of Geminis for the past few months, you really want to get that under control because once that situation is taken care of, you are free. You are not going to have any type of finance, you know, like entanglements that's keeping you locked in your geographical location. You can come and go as you want. You can move all over the place, and that's where you're going to be truly happy. Okay. Um. So be careful of the financial dip throughout this month. Buffer yourself against the effects. Allow new people to come through and let the past go. Okay. Approach new situation, new love relationships in a more casual manner because the king, once again, is in the reverse position. Kings are very, very skeptical by nature. So they want to see how you... It takes them a long time to assess you and to commit to you. So you really want to approach this in a very careful, methodical manner. Don't rush the relationship just yet because I do sense you have some healing you need to do. Okay? So, Geminis, I do hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween and enjoy the rest of October. I will come back in two weeks and to do the mid-month reading. So, let's hope we can flush some of the energies out, okay? If you like a private reading with me, please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com. I will talk to you soon. Thanks.